All right, a question had come up about the difference between chases and sequences in QLC+. So I thought I'd do just a little tutorial video here about that. It's basically kind of a difference in the way that you program. So I'm on the functions page here. I've got a stage set up with um, some white lights, incandescence, and then some RGB LEDs set up here. So first of all, let's take a look at a chaser which is very easy to program. You start out by programming some scenes. So I have my LED lights, wash lights on red. That's one scene I created and they have LEDs, green washes. Then I have LED blue washes and then I have basically a blackout of the LEDs. Well, then I can go to my chaser function and what I've done is I put the scenes in here, the red scene, the green scene, the blue scene, and then the blackout scene. And again, you can do your timing things, you know, run order, if it's going to be single shot or loop or forward or backward, if there's going to be a fade in speed, if it's going to be common, a fade out speed per step or if that's going to be common, and step duration. I think I covered a lot of that in another video. But you basically see how this is programmed in here. So when we run it, we're going to go red, green, blue, and then black out, and each one uh, for a hold for one. Red, green, blue, blackout. Red, green, blue, blackout. Okay, I think that's pretty much understood by a lot of people who have done the chasers. Now, the difference with the sequence is the way that you program things. So let's do a sequence where we do the same type of thing. So I'm going to click on the sequence here, excuse me, and then click on new sequence. I'm going to call this RGB chase. Okay. Now, what I do is for this, first of all, I'm going to select what lights I'm going to be using for the sequence. So I know I'm going to use my red washes, my green washes, my blue washes, and of course I have to include a dimmer channel to actually get them to turn on my LED lights. Now we go up here and we click plus to add a scene. And here's where it's very different. We're not, you notice when we click plus, we didn't get a selection of scenes to pick from, it just added a scene. Now we actually have to move the faders to program what we want. So I'm going to go to my channel groups faders here and say, okay, I want my red faders up and I want the dimmers up maximum. So in this particular scene, the red should come on. If I check all fixtures, that's what it should say, red and then dimmer up. Now I'm going to create another scene. Now the tricky thing about this is with this, notice that none of the sliders moved. This acts like a lighting desk that's running in tracking mode. So it knows that the red LEDs are on already. If I want to just put green LEDs on, I can add this, but I need to get rid of the red LEDs too. So I need to pull these down and get them out. So now we have green LEDs up there. And if we check the all fixtures, you'll see we have green and the dimmer. Then I'm going to add a next scene with just blues. So notice we're in scene three. Now I got to pull the greens out and just put the blues in. Then I'm going to need a next scene where I'm going to pull everything out. So it's going to be blue out and then dimmer out so everything has gone off. Okay. And this is called new sequence seven. I'm going to just call RGB chase. All right. So if we go back and check it now, and this is where you have to be careful and I'll show you what I mean. Right now I have all my dimmers down here. If I go back and click on the first one and I look at all fixtures, it should say red and dimmer across, green and dimmer, blue and dimmer, and nothing. So this should run, run correctly when we run it. Oops, sorry, forgot to give it a time. We got to give a duration time of one. There we go. Should be red, green, blue, and off. Red, green, blue, and off. So as you see, it's just kind of a different way of programming. One thing you do have to be careful of here, if you are in, all right, I've got step one here highlighted. If I happen to go, and it's not showing anything over here right now, we do know that in that step one, if I look at all fixtures, I've got my red and my dimmer up. But it's when I look at the groups, it's not indicating that. If I happen to jog a channel here, like, 
let's just say I put my blues up a little bit. I don't realize it, but I've just changed the settings for that particular step. And if I look at all fixtures, I can see it. Okay, I've accidentally put the blues in there. And that's one of the things you do have to be careful of when you're programming. If you have anything highlighted over here and you happen to move any of these channels, it gets transferred in there. So now when I run this, and I'm going to take the highlighting away, and I still have this blue channel up, but I'm going to take this out and get rid of it. If I, look at, if I look and I look here upon one, you notice that the blue is still in there because I accidentally programmed it in. Green, blue, and then out. So now when I run this, I'm going to get pink, green, blue, and then out. Pink, green, blue, and then out. Another example of this where you have to be careful about this. Let's go back to the channels groups. Let's say I get rid of this last, the blackout down here. And again, I'm just, you know, happen to be touching something or I click down here or click out of the way and I happen to move one of these faders up like the red fader. And then I happen to click here inadvertently. I don't know that I've done this, but inadvertently I've just put red into that particular scene. And if I look here, you'll see it. Well, actually I'm wrong. It didn't, it didn't go into the scene. All right, but I, there is a caution here. Just be careful and double check. That what I usually do is I double check my all fixtures to make sure I haven't done anything. If I wiggle this now, I believe that it will go in there. Yes, see it is. It has gone into the scene. So you do have to be careful when you're touching the different sliders and stuff here that you don't inadvertently put things back into the chase scene that you didn't intend to do. So I'm going to fix this by, this is highlighted. That's supposed to be red, green, blue. I'm going to make sure that my red comes out of there. And when I look at it, I should be in the blues, okay? Channel groups are back down. So again, just checking it. Oh, there's my red, though, with the blue there. So if I want to fix that one, I've got to pull blue down. Let's check that first step, red, green, blue. So now we've got it fixed back up. So I think you're understanding what I'm saying. To just be very careful what you do with the sliders. You can inadvertently change things because of the tracking, uh, the way this works with tracking. Um, I'm going to do another chase scene here, another sequence. And I'm going to use the white lights. So I'm going to use my front of house lights here, electric one and electric two. And use them. So we're going to add a scene here. I'm going to say just my front of house, um, front of house lights. I'm going to bring those in. I'm going to add another scene where I'm going to use my electric two lights, bring those in, and another scene where I'll let electric three in. So now we've got all of them in. And this time I'm going to do a fade in time with it. So, and we're doing common fade in time, fade out time, common step duration. So let's do a fade in time of two seconds and a duration of one second here. Let's see what that gets us. Now, we have to be careful here. We have sliders up. If I go back to this one here and I have my sliders up, I might be affecting them. I'm going to do all fixtures. Yeah, see what happens? My sliders are up and everything's affected. So I've, because I've highlighted this with my sliders up. So what I'm going to want to do is pull this one down and this one down to get those out of there because they're not supposed to be in that queue. Let's double check it and see. All right, front of house fixtures are in. Those are in. Those are in. Let's see if this runs the way that we intend it to be. Um, part of the problem here, though, is I've still got these these fixtures down um, in here. I want to unhighlight either by clicking around here or clicking here, but get this unhighlighted so nothing's highlighted. Drag this down. Otherwise, it's going to bring me in at full right away because that's up. Let's double check to see where we're at. Okay, looks like front of house, two, three, good. My channels group sliders are down. Hopefully this will execute the way we think it's going to execute. Fade in. 
fade in. The only problem I've had with this, and it seems to me might be a glitch, is that it brings these first lights in right away. Let's see if we can do that again. It's off because it should have faded these in, but it brings them in right away. So you might have to put, like if you're doing something like this, you might have to put a blackout in first in order to fade them in. So again, my advice with you doing this, just be very, very careful and double check to see each step what's happening here. Like on the first step, those four lights, then we add four, then we add four. This can be a faster way to program some sequences since you don't have to create four different scenes. You're just working with the groups of lights right away. Again, my caution is just be very careful with this. Now I'm going to do a separate video showing that when you do shows, which is this tab down here, it uses a visual timing thing. And in that, it actually creates a number of sequences when it creates the shows. But I'll do that in a separate video.